Welcome back, everybody. So, oh, look at all these guys. They're still there. That's good. So I am going to continue working on my secret passage. Got the door working last time. With my excellent, excellent redstone skills. So, let's head down here. We'll just open that up. All right, just taking a look. Uh, got a lot to build. I think I'm going to like put a park over there, a library over here, bookstore somewhere around here. I'm gonna take a bit of work, but I think I can get it done. So let's do this. Do I have like normal? No, no, no mossy stone. There we go. So we have this. I need to leave that there. Okay, that still works. That's the big. The big fear was that would not work. There. That maybe, yeah. Just sort of doing a transition. Like that. Let's do there. Is there a way to, oh, maybe. Yep, so there we go. And this place does not have to be fancy at all. Because it's just a secret passage. Although I, all my torches are not torch. But I can go behind here, I guess. And yeah, if I put torches back here, it shouldn't get over. Yeah, I've got the dirt block in the wall there. So, holy cow, I can't get through here, can I? Let's do this. There we go. Let's put a torch like here and here. I mean, it's a secret passage. It doesn't have to be a dark, dark hallway. And then I don't want anything to show through here. So let's just put like that. Well, that doesn't cover up that one. Yeah, that should cover cover up that little hole there there and get rid of this Ooh. so we'll just push this all the way over here yeah so essentially I'm building the hallway Yes, exciting stuff, exciting stuff. Do I have a shovel? I do have a shovel. Why am I using my hand when I can use a shovel? There we go. There we go. Do that. Get rid of these because I don't need them anymore. What the? So maybe if I put these here. to the store today and I saw 
I don't say the weirdest thing, but I just don't understand people sometimes. I'm driving. It's a, it's like a me. It's not like a freeway highway. It's a it's a bigger, like a rural road highway. People going. I think speed limit's like forty five. Uh, part of it's fifty five. So I'm coming back from the store, and there is this car. Come, comes uh, come heading towards me and the doors open the driver's door so which is a little weird it's coming down the road with the driver's door open and it gets closer and the lady there's a lady driving it and she's just sitting there holding the door open with her hand i don't i don't understand i don't know it didn't look I mean, maybe the door didn't close or something, but that's, it just seems really weird. And of course, then when she passed, she turned down the street and I had to turn down the same one. So I was following her and it did look like the back of her, it's like, um, not a Bronco, but one of those type of uh, trucks with the little hatchback type in it. And it was uh it was kind of like all bent up and stuff and the back window was broken out so i'm thinking maybe she got into a wreck or something but it didn't look like too much of the other rest of the car was damaged i mean the side of the car and stuff looked all okay it was just the back was a little you know not even it wasn't even crunched or whatever it's just the back window was all broken out and it did look you know it's like a little scratched up and stuff but she was, yeah, she was just driving down the street with one arm, you know, one arm on the steering and one arm holding the door closed. And it wasn't closed all the way. She was just holding the door and it was like, what, halfway? Halfway closed? Because I didn't want to do that. I broke, got rid of my light. I'm going to get rid of this light too. Let's, um... We'll do that. That'll be my compromise. And the light is really not for here. It's for the other side of the wall. So I may have to go back and review. But I thought that was really weird. It's, uh, and it's not like the door stuck closed. It was like stuck open. Or no, it was like, yeah, it wouldn't close all the way maybe. It just seems... Very odd. Very odd. Well, maybe that's why I just don't go out much. You never know what kind of people you're going to run into. That just seems so weird to me. I mean, I, I could just say if I had a wreck and I would need, you know, and the car was drivable except the door wouldn't close. I think. I would probably drive it myself. So maybe she was just driving it back home, had a wreck, and didn't want to pay for the tow because towing is expensive. So I, I wouldn't want to pay for the towing either. So I probably would drive it myself. However, if I needed, you know, if I had the, the door was stuck open and it wouldn't close all the way, I think my solution would be to, I would tie it off you know, tie the driver's door shut with a rope or something as you know as close as it can get and then um i just crawl in through the passenger side or through the back door get into the driver's seat and drive that way i wouldn't have to hold the door because it just seems kind of awkward holding the door closed while you're driving i mean it's not like a jeep where there's no doors i mean that well, those are oh i'm out of blocks um can you get through that oh i can get through that oh yeah and i did this okay that works Yeah, so that was my day, or I, well, I didn't get out much today because I 
didn't need to go anywhere except for the store. So I had to get some uh, Parmesan cheese and mushrooms for dinner. I was having spaghetti and I like to have Parmesan cheese on it. And I put mushrooms in the spaghetti sauce. Well, actually, I don't. My wife does that way. I don't. Uh, it's safer if I'm not really cooking because my cooking is basically limited to uh, barbecuing or breakfast. So I don't cook much. Although I don't mind cooking, cooking's not bad. I'm usually busy. I just, I just treat it as a, I just need uh, energy to keep going. So that's kind of how I treat food sometimes. So it can be very plain and just uh, generic food if I'm cooking it. And my uh, better half doesn't really like that all the time. She kind of likes to have a nice dinner kind of planned out. Not like a cheese sandwich and chips. Because I was too busy to remember I needed to eat and it was nine o'clock at night. Okay, this is coming along good. So we got the secret little passage going through there. I mean, I could leave it all the way up, but I don't think I want to. And I really need, I don't know where I got all these cobblestone stairs from. I really need more slabs. So maybe I go get some more slabs and just finish off this corridor. And I need to go get some pistons because we need to put like a door here. So maybe that's why I've got those uh, stairs. So I need a door here. How do I want to do that? Maybe. Let's see. Maybe the door would go here. Oh yeah, that would work. If I put the pistons here. So you put two pistons there and a block there. It would push into the corner and then I'll just do this in the corner here so there will be a door in and out here there and I won't have to try and get you know try and get too complex there because I don't want to get too wild with the uh, the redstone because it could take it could take a lot longer than I have and then stairs, let's see, we do that and that. Yeah, so we got the stairs going up like that. Yeah, so you go down here, you flip a switch, probably right there maybe. It'll activate that piston, or activate both those pistons. Yeah, so maybe the switch would be over here, here or a button over here. Yeah, I think it'll have to be a button over there. And then I can just run the redstone line back around. Yeah, right there. Yeah, and the redstone can just go from there. Get back here. Maybe there. Yeah. Okay, I got my supplies. So if I put in, if I do a stone pressure plate here, which means it will come out, the power will go there. So we'll do this. So this will be, so what I need, yeah, so I need a repeater here.
Will that be the piston? Extenders will close that. Maybe I need one more. Looking for this. And then we just have do do do. Oops, how am I gonna get out of here? There. There. Which means I should have that. Is it done? Oh. Here. What am I oh <laughs> You're going like, what am I missing? I am missing. A redstone torch. There. Um. <laughs> ah, my old nemesis, redstone. You would think I would know what I'm doing by now. Okay, that's good. Nice. It's there. Oh, well, that's disappointing. Come on. There. Well, that is so weird. We'll just do this uh, with a button. That actually probably makes more sense. Makes more sense to have a button. Yeah, it makes much more sense to have a button actually, because then I can control when this opens up and when this closes. Because I may not want to come out you know, instantly. We have that there. You get down here, you want to sneak out. You can't get back in. Oh, I could get back in. Let's see, where's that at? All right. Right there. What if I did that? That works. And all I need to do, like that. And we'll do this. There. Looks like decorations. But if you know which one to push, you can get... Oh! Oh! That's not good. I just about killed myself.
That could have been very dangerous. Whew! That... That's tricky. I need to... I'm going to have to make some more repeaters, but... I think... Doing something like that... Even yeah, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to lengthen this up a bit. Leaving it off longer. Yeah, that means I'm gonna have to do. Something like that. Okay, did a bit of rearranging. I'm using a wooden button now because it stays on longer so I can get through easier. And then I changed this out so I've got a new design, wood and stone buttons. But the actual button is right over here. So it goes through, I can get in. I just, uh, just don't take your time because it will uh, crush you. And then I want to also make an entrance over here on this side. So this is into the main cavern here. So I decide I'm going to do something like this. So that would be so the pistons. would be here and here so that will reach out and pull those back and I don't have enough room over there for that that's why I didn't do that pistons actually have to be here so they need to be extended and then they need to pull away Need to pull away. No, they still need to pull away this way. Because I don't. Do I have enough? No, I can't do that. That cuts into that. I think. Yeah, this one's going to have to do. This one's going to have to do the other way. So. Be there. So that'll push one down. And that will push that up. So all I need to do is activate those. And I need to leave them, I need to leave them on all the time. So I want to do a pressure pad or a button that I push and it inactivates my redstone torch. Let's say a redstone torch here goes there. You have that there. Let's do this here. Okay, so that one's there. That's good. I 
And then here, let's do this. Let's see. Hmm. That is not doing what I want it to. That is not doing what I want it to. There we go. So that'll do this. So let's get that out here. Joys of Redstone. There we go. prettiest but it will work okay so that works there now I need to figure out how to get back in and I think I can do can I come through here oh I don't think I can get through there I need to get to this right there. Maybe. That doesn't do it. That doesn't do it. Yeah, let me think of this for a second. Okay, I got this figured out now. So I've got these little buttons here. Opens the door, I go through. I just had to move this around a bit. So I have a button here I push. I can get out. And then I can just put a button underneath all of these, like where there's sconces. If I just put a button here, it looks like it's uh, supposed to be there. And this can go all the way down here. So there's a little extra decoration. Probably should be putting stuff like that on the walls anyhow. And then here, just because I want to be consistent. Um, there. So now I've got two indented areas right there. And I may put a cobweb or two in the corner just to hide it. This is awful light here, but, but yeah, I think that'd be fine. You can kind of see it. Maybe if I do Mm, 
Let's do that. I think I'm going to get rid of this and put in like stone. Where's my food? Food, food, nurse food. Yeah, and this is kind of a transition period. We've got this one little transition spot right here. And then we move into this hallway. So that kind of fits. We can get in. Plenty of light in here. I can leave it. Yeah, I'm going to leave the redstone exposed. Because you're on this side of the wall. So you know it's a secret. You don't need to hide it. I may get a lighter torch here or something. Maybe if I put it there. Yeah, kind of hide that torch behind the wall so it's not so glaring. I need just wall that up as well. There we go. I hear zombies, and I'm not sure if they're in my... Uh, oops, did I close this? Let me see if I close this door back here. Oh, I can't run. I can't jump. I need to close this. So we will close that. And that one you can use the lever because you're going to open and close it from either side. This one, you need to be able to open it, have it closed by itself. Because I don't want a lever on the outside. It'll look really obvious. And same thing with this one over here. So we'll see if this, once you push the button, you've just got to go for it. Do I, I don't, oh, I have an ax. We'll see. I heard zombies, but I think they're upstairs. What I want to do is check. Okay, I don't see you there. I don't see you there. I was just checking for red, red X's because I, uh, I did do a little bit of lighting changes, so I want to make sure I'm not going to have spawns. I'm risking my life here because I could have a uh, creeper come up behind me. Okay, that finishes my secret passage. So secret tunnel, secret passage done. So I think we are done with the cathedral now. This is everything. I got all the upstairs. The big church upstairs is all done. The crypts down here are all done. The sleeping quarters, living quarters for the for the priests are all done. And uh, if I do say so myself, I do like the way this came out. This makes a nice little area over here. The crypts and stuff were all added on just on the whim. I didn't had no plans for those. The only plans I had, and I did spend time building, was the church. And that actually went pretty quickly and creative i just sort of started building it and it worked so not a lot of backtracking and stuff on that one but i think these uh, mausoleum buildings came out really good it all seems to fit with the area the only thing that looks a little i think a little weird or is the zombie statue because his arms are back so it doesn't really look like he has arms and it's a little it's kind of not glaring, but it is so different than the stone. Yeah, so you get back here. That looks much better if you look at him from this angle. So you get a good look at him here. He looks fine there. So if, so he's fine if you look at him straight on. Oh, good thing I came out here. Yeah, from here he looks fine. It's just when you get to the side, he looks a little different. Starting to look a little just rectangular pillar right there but he's really not meant to be viewed from the side and actually the uh, the stone scaffolding and putting your side actually helps oh well that is uh, that's all we need to worry about for that uh, thank you for watching I am 
all done for the day so i'm going to let you guys get on your merry way for the day and i will see you later bye bye